All right, hello and welcome. Baru is back, so let's talk about what he's got. First and foremost, his new item is the Opticor Elixir skin, which I like quite a bit. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it is, like the other Elixir skin in the game for the Redeemer, very nice looking. I think it is a moderate upgrade to the way the Opticor looks by default, um, because the Opticor by default looks quite nice in my opinion. But the one thing some people might not like about this skin is that its primary color is, let's call it, most of the skin. I think it looks nice personally, but I could see why people might have an issue with it. Uh, so let's go through some random colors so you can get a feel for how it goes, basically. Um, like I said, I enjoy it. Uh, it being the only new item I know is going to always rub people the wrong way when it's just a cosmetic, but... We can't have a new Prime mod every other week, right? Uh, and then this is how I ended up going with it, which I think looks quite good. Moving on back to the rest of Baro's items, though. Very quickly, uh, Prime Pistol Emma Mutation. If you have a healthy addiction to the Twin Gracadas, you may get some use out of that. Otherwise, very unlikely. Definitely the worst Prime mod here. Then we have Prime Pressure Point and Primed Reach. Fantastic melee mods. Uh, obviously, we do know that Primed Reach has the potential to get nerfed in the upcoming melee rework. That being said, that's not a good enough reason to not pick this up now. If you're looking for mods to get today and you can only pick two, it's going to be Prime Pressure Point and it's going to be Prime Reach if you don't already have them. Prime Cry Rounds is not a bad mod, but like just from my testing, I'm going through like the primary review tests and stuff. Prime Cry Rounds just doesn't make it into enough builds because there's a lot of cases where you're still going to want to use Corrosive or you really have no need to commit an extra forma that's a fucking D polarity to a weapon. That's just me, though. If you're going to run viral on everything in your arsenal, you might as well pick this up because you'll probably get more use out of it than I am currently. Uh, Prisma Tetra, terrible weapon. You can get MR out of it, though. So if you're looking to pick up some MR, they have that. Uh, the Volcar Wraith is a, I would call it maybe mid-tier sniper rifle. That being said, a mid-tier sniper rifle is better than basically all of the regular rifles in the entire game. So, even though this thing has a very coin flippy crit chance that I hate, it is still a good weapon. I am just very much not a fan of it. So, that for if you feel like you're going to enjoy this weapon, or just the MR. And then the best MR to ducket ratio here, Prisma Shade. This is 9,000 mastery. And also, Shade's not a bad Sentinel, so pick this up for that. Uh, <clears throat> then we have the Sentinel cosmetics coming in. Uh, those are kind of neither here nor there for me. Uh, Zyphos Prisma skin, I will always, always remind you guys that I think all the Prisma ship skins look dope. So pick that up if you're into that. Uh, and the rest of the stuff here, like the Argyle display and all that, I don't really have strong feelings about either way. So, moving on to console. At the top here, lots of cosmetic items, and there's one dog shit item, which is the Corrupted Bombard Spectre Blueprint. I don't think I need to explain just how shady that is. Again, it's garbage. Don't waste your time. There's the cliff notes. Uh, the top part of this... I thought it was going to be a real bad day for console. Luckily, all your guys' relevant items are at the bottom, so we can go over these. Mara Detron. Mara Detron has been significantly buffed. You should pick this up. It is a very, very solid sidearm that I think you're going to get a lot of use out of. If you need something that is going to be like a mass armor stripper, this can definitely do it for you. Would suggest. This weapon is definitely not just MR anymore. Uh, Prime Fever Strike, this is going to go on, I would say, most of your melee weapons. Definitely not all, but I would say, personally, Prime Fever Strike is a very safe mod to level for melee because it is incredibly unlikely that it will not be good when melee changes unless all of melee is not good, which I guess is technically a possibility. But let's hope that's not the case. Prime Regen, used on every single Sentinel in the game, is a strict upgrade. No real reason not to get this, unless you're, for some reason, not using Sentinels. Uh, and then Shotgun Ammo Mutation, uh, if you really are in love with the comb, maybe, but other than that, definitely not. And then Primed Rifle Ammo Mutation, uh, any rifle in the game that's worth using can be supplemented ammo-wise just by using Carrier, so probably just go with that instead. But for collector's purposes, whatever. Uh, and that is kind of it for today. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, also, though, um, tomorrow, speaking of tomorrow, Saren video tomorrow, uh, cliff notes for that video. It's going to be, it's, Saren's real good. You're going to enjoy that. So, anyway, again, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed this. Later, everyone.